Hi guys, so this is just a supplemental video to my WordPress website development course. Here on this particular video, we're going to discuss how you can set up your Cloudflare account. If, for example, you're going to use Cloudflare on top of your web hosting service that you can get either from TechWorks or from any web hosting service providers that you will sign up, right? So, so when you sign up with a Cloudflare account, and then you are very new to that one. Normally, when you connect the website, hinahayaan nyo lang siya na mag ng information, particularly the DNS information. Tapos, pag tiningnan nyo yung DNS section ng Cloudflare, yung data na nandun, or yung DNS records na nandun, are default values. It can be default values from the registrar or default values from the current web hosting service provider or kung sino man yung nag-host ng domain na yun, no? Before you even like connect your cPanel or before you even connect your server to that particular domain that you purchased. Okay, assuming that you have purchased the domain name and then you also have the web hosting already, tapos naka-cPanel ka pa, di ba? Pero gagamit ka ng Cloudflare in between, you still need to set up the DNS records. Paano nga ba siya sinisit up yung DNS records? That is what I'm gonna teach you in this video, in this supplemental video for our WordPress website development course. All right, so let's do that one. Okay, to do it, of course, you just have to log into your Cloudflare account, di ba? Tapos, uh, connect mo lang. Of course, kung bago pa lang, assuming bago siya, ano, bago yung Cloudflare account mo, just add site here. Tapos, i-connect mo lang yung website mo. Just enter the domain name here. Tapos, add site. No? Ganun lang siya. Tapos, follow through the instruction na sasabihin ni Cloudflare to set up the default setting. Okay? Now, assuming that you have already connected your website to Cloudflare just like this one, although right now, makikita natin na meron na tayong data right here or traffic data. It's because this has been live for a while, this particular test website that we are showing you here. Pero on your case, if bago pa lang talaga, Okay lang if wala pa kayong data dito. Now, once you have the Cloudflare account and then na-connect nyo na yung website nyo, of course, kailangan yung baguhin yung or kailangan yung i-update yung DNS records. Ano ba yung DNS records? So, in most cases, no, pag tinignan nyo yung default DNS records ng Cloudflare, it looks like this. no, With this other sample website that we have no? from one of our trainees in the training, so makikita nyo na madami siyang information, madami siyang entries no, sa loob ng DNS settings ng Cloudflare. Why is that? No, bakit madami yung laman dito? It's because, sabi ko nga kanina, most likely yung mga information na to are details from the current registrar or from the current host wherever that particular domain is hosted. No? Now, yung details na to, yung DNS records na to, kailangan natin siyang i-update so that our domain is pointing to the correct server na gagamitin natin for the website. So for example, in, in this case, with the test domain that we have here, no, let's check the DNS records that we have here. Ito na yan. Although nakasit up na siya because we did this one in the past, but just for the sake of the demonstration, ididelete ko to lahat para makita nyo paano siya sinaset up. Okay? Of course, before you even like update the records here, or remove all the default values in the DNS records, kailangan you have the information at hand. Ano ba yung mga kailangan na mga information? Normally, yung A record, yung C name, at saka yung MX record. Okay? So I'll discuss more about this later. Paano siya isi set up? For now, i-revisit natin saan nga ba natin kukunin yung, yung magiging content for the records. No? Of course, kailanganin mo yung IP address ng server mo. So, when we say IP address, yan talaga yung IP address na na-assign for the web hosting, no? Or for the web hosting service. Or with the example, yung web hosting service niya is naka cPanel. So, when we visit the cPanel, makikita natin yung IP address sa, sa address bar. Ito yung kakailanganin natin na information for the DNS records. They take note lang natin yan. Okay. All right, before I discuss more about that, let me just emphasize na if you have your web hosting service provided by TechWorks or if you are part of one of my trainings no, or my colleagues' trainings, 
either with the digital job speech program or the with WordPress bootcamp.ph. But essentially, when you have the web hosting service from us, we provide to you all of these. These are the records that you will need. No? So we have it here. So of course, the A record, the Lawang A record, tapos yung name, yung content, at saka yung proxy status. I will demo that one later. So as you can see, apat yung minimum na, na isisit up natin sa Cloudflare DNS records ng account nyo. Okay? Now, as you can see here, for the type A record, for example, we have there the name na tinatawag nating mail, tapos yung content niya is 64.921.255.75. That is actually the IP address of our server, as you can see right here. No? Now, for another type A, this, this one naman, yung name niya is your domain. So kung Ibig sabihin dito, kung ano yung domain mo, yun yung ilalagay mong name for that record. So for example, if my domain is birthpadilla.com, I'll put birthpadilla.com. Or in the case of our example, wpbootcamp.xyz, yun din yung magiging value ng your domain.com na nandito. Okay? Another record is the same name. Tapos yung name naman niya is www, pero yung content niya is yung your domain pa rin. So just like the first A record dito na your domain yung name, ilalagay lang natin yung your domain. So I put it here na, no? So that it would be easier for you to copy, no? Once again, no? Just use this information for your DNS records if you have your web hosting solution or web hosting service from TechWorks or from TechWorks Hosting. Now, what if you have another server no? or you have your cPanel accounts from other vendors like HostGator, DreamHost, Cloudways, no? uh, madami. What if kung doon nagaling yung account mo? Of course, you will ask their support. Ano yung IP address if you don't see it in the cPanel okay? or in the dashboard, di ba? Tapos tanongin mo rin sila kung ano yung magiging values ng mga DNS records na kailangan mong ilagay. But again, ito yung magiging minimum na values na ilalagay natin. So, uh, paano siya siniset up? Going back to the Cloudflare account dito, if you are from here, just go to the DNS section right here. Just click on that one. Now, assuming that you have default values like this no, in the DNS records ng Cloudflare, i-delete nyo lang siya lahat. No? Just delete it. Okay, delete nyo lang lahat like this one. Okay, delete nyo lang. I-delete nyo lahat kasi that is with the assumption na wala namang kayong gagamitin service from them. Like, hindi kayo gagamit ng server nila, hindi kayo gagamit ng mail server nila, di ba? So, i-remove nyo lang siya para malinis. Tapos, mag-add lang kayo ng record. Now, how you will add a record, okay, let me just, how you will add a record is, click nyo lang yung add record dito. Tapos, select. Una natin i-enter or is the A type. no So, select lang dito ng A. Tapos, yung name, kopyahin mo lang. O, kopyahin nyo lang. Paste it there. Tapos, yung content niya is the IP address. Paste it there as well. Okay? Tapos, sabi dito, yung proxy status niya is off. no So, meaning, we will disable this. I-click lang natin yung cloud icon for the proxy. No? So, or for the DNS. Now, once you are done with that one, just click save. So we already have our first record in place. Now, let's move on to the next record, which is that another A record. So just click add record, select A type there. And then for the domain, sabi dito, your domain. No? It's just a placeholder, yourdomain.com. Of course, papalitan natin ng domain natin. So for example, with this test website, wpbootcamp.xyz, of course, yung domain dyan is yung wpbootcamp.xyz. Yun yung ilalagay natin dito sa name for that e record. Now, for the content naman, sab dito, 6491250.75. No? Copy nyo lang yan, tapos i-paste nyo dyan sa IPv4 address section. Now, again, guys, just copy it if you have your web hosting service from TechWorks or from one of our servers. Now, if you are hosted somewhere, you get the correct IP address. And then, if yun yung ilagay nyo dyan sa Cloudflare 
din is record nyo. Just like this one. Okay, for the proxy status naman, sabi dito on. So, kaya naka-on dito. Okay, then just save. Once you have that saved, move to the next record which is say name. So, just click add record again. Tapos say name. Select nyo yung say name dyan. Okay, let's move this a little. Okay. Okay, naka say name yan. Okay, yan. Now, yung name niya naman is www. Copy nyo lang. Or type nyo ng www. Tapos yung content niya, yung target is yourdomain.com. So again, the domain for our test website is wpbootcamp.xyz. Paste lang natin dyan. For the proxy status naman, naka-on siya. Okay? So just save. Once that is done, let's move on to the last record that we want to add. No? The MX record. So just add record. Select MX right here. Find that one here. Now yung magiging name niya naman is yourdomain.com. So again, yourdomain.com is the actual domain for the website. Ito yan. I-paste lang natin dyan. Okay? Then yung content niya naman or yung mail server is sabi dito sa ano natin placeholder is mail.yourdomain.com. So ilagay niyo lang yung domain niyo diyan, of course, append or prepend mail that before the domain. So ganito yung magiging structure niya. Tapos yung priority is zero. So just type in zero right there. Okay? Tapos save. Now you have there the minimum DNS records na isiset natin kay Cloudflare. So again, as I've been saying, minimum lang siya kasi later on, you might be able to or you may need to add more records in this DNS management service right here. Kung kailangan mo ng additional service, be it from an external, for example, from an external mail server, for example, if you're gonna use a Google Suite platform or you're gonna use a different server for the email service ng website mo, dito siya nilalagay. When we talk about email, MX records, yeah. Okay? Now, there may be cases also that in the future, if for example, you're gonna work with client websites or other projects, you may need to add additional records here, but that is just a case-to-case -case basis. No? Again, and at the minimum, ito talaga yung magiging records ng DNS within your cloud there. Okay? Yung mangyayari is once you set this correctly, you can already visit your domain. If it's already have a CMS like WordPress installed, makikita nyo na yung website nyo accessible via the browser. Okay? Now, if for example, you encounter issues na nagsasabi na Cloudflare related na mga issues, most likely, siguro may na-input kayong mali dyan sa DNS records na sinaset natin. Okay? Of course, you can double check before you go to the next step of your WordPress website development. Okay? Again, for example, for the MX record, it is the domain, your domain.com, tapos content is mail.domain.com, di ba? Tapos naka DNS only. Now for the same name naman, sabi dito, www yung name, which is correct. Tapos yung content is your domain, which is correct. Tapos naka on yung proxy. Okay? Now for the first A record, ito yon, domain, your domain.com yung name niya. Tapos yung content is the IP address of your server or IP address of your cPanel. Okay? Tapos naka-on din yung proxy. Tapos, I mean, the second A record that we have is for the mail. But this time, yung content niya, the same IP address, di ba, ng server niya or ng cPanel. Tapos yung proxy status naman is off siya. So, ganun. So, that's it. Again, guys, you do this step as part of your website development or WordPress website development if you have Cloudflare in between of your domain and your server when you have the Cloudflare there you need to set up the correct DNS records so that the communication between your domain and then your server works seamlessly. I hope you found this video very useful. See you on the next video.